already today are some spiritual groups like the sausage sizzle at the Bunnings car park well I thought it was a fun one um, so Bunnings in Australia is like the Home Depot in the US it's a big home uh, home waste hardware store that everybody loves to go to because there's heaps of cool fun stuff there. so and they have sausage chisels out the front which you know they're usually run by community groups and you know, they they have a good message but you know is that really you know does it have the nutrient density and the, the qualities that we're looking for so you know and sometimes we can go into a spiritual group or a meditation group or some sort of personal or spiritual development area and environment and it feels expansive it's just fantastic because you know it's exciting and you're improving yourself and you know hey my soul's dancing yeah let's do this so much like when you go to the Bunnings car park it's expansive there's lots of cool people there and you know you've got an intention of improving yourself and that's great but then if you go you know you sample some of the delights of their sausage sizzle and you know it may seem like it's tasty and, and beneficial is it really when we look further in so as we know that sausages you know of lowest quality meat possible a very low vibration and not a very good intention and the white bread and that's just like sugar in another form and that festers parasite growth which is the antichrist for spiritual growth and you know creating those mental patterns and making them worse and worse and of course the tomato sauce or the ketchup full of sugar again so that's actually taste tastes great but when we look within is it actually harmful to our own personal and spiritual growth sometimes and there is a, a, a beautiful little community that gather, gathers out in front of these sausage chisels yeah because it's fun you know we're sharing and we, we crave a connection especially in the Western world with our society we don't have as much connection as we'd like and that satisfies an emotional need so but then what happens when you get past that hang on this yeah you know, this that food's not good enough for me you know it's, no, we have a higher quality standard here we go inside there's some more there's even more tools and direction and things and places we can go for our own particular growth so essentially it's like a, you know, a little somewhat privileged incentive but guess what inside when we delve within ourselves there is a massive amount of more tools that we can use and lessons that we can learn so yeah that's worthwhile checking out isn't it? cool and also then once we've gone in and explored our our own inner world and the depths of those and the, the more spiritual lessons and teachings and diets and all the different things we can do for our own being we can come back outside and with acceptance and love of course we can choose not to have that sausage sizzle that's a sausage sandwich that's never going to be good for us and perhaps guide and share and say hey well how about this green smoothie or this nutrition option or this spiritual direction or this lesson that i've learned that i'd like to share because you know we're all craving a connection and acceptance so sometimes being part of a spiritual group or a religious group is wonderful but then on other times we might have to leave that behind for our own growth so we can stimulate ourselves and be a bigger more expanded being so then we can help ourselves and help others more simple yeah cool nice one